Joining us, I'm Ashlyn Webb. A home burglary turned missing person case is now a double homicide investigation that spans three crime scenes. Twiggs County deputies are investigating how a husband and wife were shot and killed. Shortly after 9 a.m. Saturday morning, Twiggs deputies received a call from Fred and Peggy White's daughter saying her parents' home at 1160 Riggins Mill Road in Dry Branch had been burglarized, guns and money missing. The safe had been broken into, the house had been rummaged through. But the couple was nowhere to be found. The daughter started trying to call the mother's cell phone when, they, when she couldn't find either one of them. Her mother's phone was heard less than a quarter mile down the road. Jordan Thomas was deer hunting on his stepmother's property. He says he kept hearing a phone ringing and later saw a truck behind an abandoned home on the property. At first, he says he thought it was trespassers. Well, we got up closer to the truck and I just happened to look in there and I seen hair. And then uh, we got a little bit closer and then we seen that there was a woman in the passenger seat and had blood coming out from her head. Sheriff Darren Meacham says deputies identified the woman as 65-year-old Peggy White. She was pronounced dead around 1045 Saturday morning. But as of noon, her husband, 70-year-old Fred White, was still missing. We're, we're thinking we're going to end up finding him the same way as we found her. And they did shortly after our interview with Sheriff Meacham. Um, actually, one of the family members that was here waiting around, uh, just obviously just walked across, walked across the field, just walking around, and actually located Mr. White's body back on the back side of this field over here. Fred White's body was found just 200 yards away from his wife's. The sheriff says the husband's body was found at the edge of the woods near Stone Creek Baptist Church. Meacham says they're investigating this as a double homicide. Obviously, when you have something like this, it's, it's top of the list. We're going to get this thing solved and we're going to go at it with everything we got. Sheriff Meacham says they don't have any suspects. If anyone has information, you're asked to contact the Twiggs County Sheriff's Office.